Hello, welcome to our celebration of the Formula One Grand Prix here in Adelaide. Tonight and next Sunday, we'll look back from the first event when Adelaide came alive to the grand finale that's planned for this year. You'll notice that we've put an awful lot into these two programs, but that's the way we do the Grand Prix in Adelaide. With seven nightly news. The multi-million dollar plan to upgrade Albert Park for the Grand Prix. The Kennett government is spending an estimated 100... The Australian Grand Prix is my home race. Over the years, it solidified itself as the season opener. Melbourne has been voted the world's most livable city and is surely one of the most recognised cities in all of Australia. But it wasn't always like this. Once upon a time, and you might remember, the Australian Grand Prix was held in Adelaide, South Australia from 1985 until 1995. And it wasn't the season opener, it was usually the final race of the season. Ending a season of Formula 1 with a bang, partying in Adelaide. The switch from Adelaide to Melbourne didn't exactly go so smoothly. The people of Adelaide were pretty upset that the rights to the race had been secretly bought by the Victorian government. This was a disappointing point in time for many Adelaideans and some F1 fans. To this day, it still sparks debate about whether the race should have been moved to Melbourne in the first place, and if the race should actually go back to Adelaide late and give Melbourne the boot. We're going to start in the early 1980s. This is when the idea of Adelaide hosting a Formula One race was gaining momentum. There was a businessman named Bill O'Gorman. This is the guy who is said to have originally come up with the idea of F1 in Adelaide. His idea grabbed the attention of at the time Premier John Bannon. John fully backed Bill's vision, so Bill flew to London to have a meeting with none other than Bernie Eccleston, and this meeting eventually resulted in a seven-year contract which would start in 1985. F1 was coming to Australia, more specifically Adelaide. The original idea was to build a temporary street circuit and this turned out to be quite good. It was colourful and had some great scenery. The circuit was well liked by fans and drivers and put on some great races over the years. The event was welcomed by locals and it was actually quite a fun event to attend. There was so much to do and it was organised exceptionally well. Well, roughly 200,000 people attended the event and it was actually so good that Bernie told the media that it was now a problem for Formula One because now every other F1 event needed to lift their game and be on Adelaide's level. Adelaide gained a reputation being known as the Party Grand Prix. People would host barbecues at their home, inviting their friends and family around for a Grand Prix party. It was more of a celebration when F1 came to Adelaide. In a way, it changed what people saw a Formula 1 event as, an excuse to get together and throw a party. Unfortunately, the party would be cut short and this would anger the people of Adelaide and the community because of how it all went down. It started when at the time Premier Dean Brown received a phone call from businessman and sporting event manager Ron Walker, who said that he urgently needed to see him face to face. They met the next day and Ron Walker put a piece of paper in front of him which showed the Victorian government winning the rights to hold the Grand Prix. The part that was most shocking was that the contract between Formula One and the Victorian government had been secretly signed a year earlier. It was very much a vision Ron Walker had for Formula One to be in Melbourne. At the time, Ron described Melbourne as being in bad shape with no real worldwide event held in the city. Ron also admits that after the South Australian government hesitated in signing a new deal, he approached the then Premier of Victoria, Jeff Kennett, about Formula One, and the duo were on the charge. After some negotiations, Ron and Jeff flew to London to meet with Bernie Eccleston in person. This deal was such a secret that they used fake names when checking into hotels so that nobody could find out what they were doing. Only a handful of people knew about this plan, and after the agreement was signed and everything was set, it was kept a secret for about a year. The secretive nature of this plan 
plan and deal made everyone think that the Victorian government went and stole the race behind the back of Adelaide, and this actually caused a little bit of beef between the two states, to the point where South Australians suggested putting barriers up at the border of the state and boycott drinking beer that was brewed in Victoria. Ron Walker remembers getting off a plane in Adelaide and having a member of the ground staff spit at his feet, and a crew member refused to refuel the aircraft. This was an actual beef and tension between the states that had politicians and organisers trying to calm the whole situation, and Jeff Kennett has said that to this day, South Australians still aren't very welcoming towards him. Formula One coming to Melbourne didn't sit right with everybody. A group called SAP Save Albert Park held rallies in 1994 and 1995 protesting the race. The protesters page is actually still active today. The Australian Grand Prix in Melbourne will always have people against it. It's the nature of any major event in the city, especially around residents and traffic. The Australian Grand Prix has been held since 1996 in Melbourne, and with a deal until 2035, it doesn't seem to be going anywhere anytime soon. Thankfully, there is a great sense of nostalgia surrounding the Adelaide track layout and Formula One being in South Australia. People miss Adelaide being the home of Formula One, and that is somewhat understandable. If a secret deal between a government and Formula One took away the Grand Prix I have been going to every year in Melbourne, I'd be pretty outraged as well. It obviously was seen as sneaky, and people are even more livid when stuff like this happens without anybody knowing about it. Many over the years have demanded that Formula One returns to Adelaide, but the truth is, that will simply never happen. Sorry to be the bearer of bad news, but Adelaide was simply a product of its time. It was the perfect location for a Formula One event during the late 80s and early 90s. It put on some fantastic races, and was a place where some of the most iconic moments in F1 happened. Major work was undertaken to modify the Albert Park area to suit Formula One. This of course caused people to protest. Albert Park is an iconic and famous area of Melbourne. Not only that, but it is just a great beautiful place to be. The environment is so clean, the lake is so nice to look at, the skyline of Melbourne is visible from so many different areas. It is truly the perfect location for a race in Australia, the perfect place for Formula One and the entire world to see Melbourne. I know there has been plenty of debate over the years about the circuit itself, people saying that it simply isn't a great track for racing, but in reality, it is the best circuit that Australia has to offer for this sort of event. Major upgrades to the circuit were undertaken. Corners were widened and even entire sections were removed for the circuit to be more flowing. I believe that the Albert Park circuit has become a staple on the F1 calendar. As someone who has been to this race many times, I can tell you it is an atmosphere like no other sporting event that I have attended in Australia. That was the story of the stolen F1 race. Please follow me on Instagram for some behind the scenes content and if you enjoyed this video I would really appreciate it if you could hit like and subscribe. Thank you so much for your time and I will see you in the next one.